I am Katherine Paneri. I am Director of Montgomery County Forensic Services in Conroe, Texas. I have been Director of Montgomery County Forensic Services since August 2016, and I have been a forensic pathologist performing autopsies and working as a medical examiner since 2003. During my experience as a forensic pathologist, I've seen a lot of changes in the autopsy process, but probably most drastically in the imaging components of the autopsy process. It has become a required part of certain types of autopsies, but most offices have gone to utilizing radiographic scanning of individuals for every autopsy that comes into their facility. The use of radiographic images in our autopsy process has become standard for almost every case, whereas we used to do it in only select cases. When I first started doing this, our imaging techniques were limited to single plate film radiographs. And of course, that was time consuming not only to perform the radiograph, but to develop it and then uh, look at it. And you could only look at it on specific viewing devices or light boxes. So when we switched over to digital viewing, that was a huge change for our field because now you could take the images, you didn't have to wait for them to be developed, you could see them instantly, but we were still left with a single plane view of one part of the body. So in order to get a full body picture of the individual, it could take anywhere from 10 to 20 x-rays and that could take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on the size of the individual and how hard it is to manipulate that, that body. So while it was better, because you could view them from a computer anywhere, it still was time consuming to actually perform the radiograph. The rapid full body radiographs have been amazing for our work because you can get a full body image in as little as 60 seconds to 90 seconds. And it's really, really cut down on the amount of movement we have to do of the bodies, which is, again, a very important safety factor because you're not going to have to slide a plate underneath a 350 pound person and possibly risk injuring yourself. And just the overall decreased manipulation of the decedent is helpful because we don't know sometimes what they look like because we're doing some of the images through the body bag, which poses no problem at all for us. The decreased manipulation of the body, the quick turnaround time for the image, the ability to change the contrast and view the image on our computers, it's just made such a huge difference in our workflow and almost even cut out a full-time employee amount of time that we would have spent doing full body x-rays if we were to x-ray every single one. Another huge change for us is that we do x-ray every single body that comes into our office now where we would never have done that before we, because we couldn't. It would have taken up too much time. So now we image everyone and it's been really interesting to see the amount of surgical hardware or old injuries or surgical procedures. So we're able to see that even before we begin the autopsy. So that's been very, very helpful. So in the seven years that I've been director of Montgomery County Forensic Services, our caseload has doubled. So we have been working hard to try to find more efficient ways to complete our work process. And uh, the Phobos XR has been uh, instrumental in decreasing the amount of time that we spend doing post-mortem radiographs on our decedents. My name is Kaylin Corkabus. I am actively the administrative manager here for Montgomery County Forensic Services. I have worked for the county for eight years almost since 2015. The changes in technology that we've seen have grown tremendously. We are used to using small panels for x-ray. We have what we refer to as a dinosaur panel that you have to put the film in at every single exposure that you take. And then we got a portable x-ray machine and that was there when I arrived. So I know how to use both of those machines. And then then we upgraded to the Phobos machine in 2020. The Phobos XR has tremendously sped up um, x-rays for our office. So the panel that we used to use is probably 20 by 24 panel, and we would have to move that around the entire body, which could honestly take up to an hour, it, depending on how big they were, how many times we had to retake the imaging. For us to be able to pull a body over to the Phobos XR, 
XR table and be able to type in their information and click one, two buttons for it to scan their full body has decreased the amount of time tremendously for our office. Um, so much that we do x-rays on every single case now and not just our high priority cases. When we are choosing what x-rays to do, there are two different types of cases and why we would do different angles on the Phobos machine. For a typical case that is a natural case, we would just do an AP on everyone. Anyone, everyone that comes in gets an AP done. If someone is a high priority case, such as a homicide or a suicide, we would do the lateral, see, you know, is it in the spine? You can see, is it closer to the back? The speed of the Phobos machine is taking our text time tremendously less now that we have the full body scanner and it can scan um, in AP and lateral 30 seconds each roughly. Before when we were doing that, it would take several minutes to get a full body scan where you had to move the panel down the body, take the photo, down the body, take the photo. You just have to walk basically right into the other room. There's no protective layers that you're required to wear that are needed to wear. Our scans that we do uh, when we get our radiation reports, we do have a control in that area at the computer that our techs are standing at. Um, and we have never had any levels or hits on those control panels. And they're just, you know, they're just standing there at the computer pushing a button. So it is a lot safer as far as that goes.